G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today taking you for a walkthrough of the Quest Air Gazebo 3. Hit it. This gazebo offers three by three meters of coverage, has an air-filled frame that means it packs up to half the weight and size of equivalent gazebos, and has a waterproof canopy to keep you dry in all conditions. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. If you've been looking for a, a three by three meter gazebo, or you find the, the traditional steel frame gazebo is quite cumbersome, then check this gazebo out. It offers the same set of coverage, only a portion of the pack size and weight. So this Quest gazebo here fits inside this bag, which measures about 70 centimeters by about 30 centimeters when it's all rolled up in size and weighs 11 and a half kilos, which as I mentioned, is loosely half the weight and length of equivalent three by three meter steel frame gazebos. It comes included with the floor, which is removable. We'll show you that in a sec, and you get a pump with it as well. So the entire thing is set up with this pump. There's eight pegs in the ground, one for each corner, one for each guy rope, and then you just pump it up and you're good to go. The guy ropes adds the stability to the frame. It's been tested with up to, to up to 60 or over 60 kilometer per hour wind, so it's nice and sturdy. But the beauty of the airfield frame is that if it does um, get bent or if the, if the winds do pick up and this sort of collapses down a bit, it just pops back into place. So if this was a steel frame that had done this, it'd be useless. You wouldn't be able to use it, but an airfield frame just pops back up into place. So it does move a little bit, but the benefit is that it pops back into place rather than being unusable. A bit of a walk around of the, the gazebo today. We'll start with the fabrics. This is 150 denier fabric with a 2000 millimeter water head. Now, that means that the fabric itself is going to keep you dry. If it rains, you're not going to get water in here, but if you do have wind-driven rain, obviously you're going to get water in through the sides and there are wall accessories that you can add to the side to keep you dry. Air-filled frame inside here. We'll show you a bit more on that shortly. I want to walk around the outside a little bit first. It's equivalent this side to the other side. So if we look at this pole here, we've got this guy rope and this is a three-point attachment guy rope here. So one, two, and three. This is all integrated. There's an adjustment point here that will move a bit with the winds. We tighten it here and there's a single peg point at the end here. So really easy to use guy ropes. And when you wanna pack it away, you've got this little Velcro strap here just to secure the, the guy rope up against the frame so that this isn't flapping around when it's packed away. At the bottom of this pole here, we have an inflation port. So this is the top cap's open here at the moment, but there's a one-way valve in here. So we've used the pump, attached the pump, once it's here to pump this up, check out our setup video for those details. The one-way valve means air can't get out, but we can secure this over the top to make sure there are no leaks at all while we're using the gazebo. And if we have a look, on the, if we were to look on the opposite side, there's one of these valves on that opposite corner there as well. It has two valves to make deflation nice and quick, but you only need one valve to pump it up. So when I pump this up, I seal the other valve and then pump the entire thing up through this one port here. As we walk across the gazebo, we can see, not much to see, it's about 1.8, 1.85 meters of clearance here to walk through. So we've got a bit of height there, it gets higher in the middle, but we'll step inside shortly. And the other pole here, no, frame, no uh, inflation port on this one, but same guy rope and guy rope attachment points or, or securing points here. So this is all mirrored on the opposite side of the gazebo. Now we'll step inside and show you some of the features in there. I wanna start with the, the frame itself. So you can see this big, thick frame here. This is the inflatable frame. It runs right across the top of the gazebo here, crosses in the middle. These are all joined, so inflated by one point here, and that's what creates the stability. And once you've got all four guy ropes pegged out, it actually creates quite a sturdy structure. If I jump in the middle here and sort of throw this around, it moves, but it bounces back again, and it still stays nice and upright. So as long as you're using suitable pegs on all four guy ropes, this is gonna put up with some pretty bad weather. So starting with the poles, you're probably curious on, on what this air pole technology is about, and it's come a long way recently, but this has got a, a strong bladder secured inside to a couple of layers here. So we've got heavy duty material here, and within this is the inflatable bladder. And you might be worried about punctures, but in reality, the only spot that this is actually in touch with the ground is this bottom bit here, and even that's reinforced by another layer underneath there. So as long as you're inflating it with the included pump, you shouldn't have any issues with these poles here. They're nice and, um, nice and secure inside this fabric. If you do have an issue, they're replaceable. You can unzip this. It's uh, somewhere along here, there'll be a zip for this um, that you can undo that'll be um, cable tied together. Don't undo it 
while it's pumped up because you'll end up with a balloon and you'll end up pop popping the frame, but you can replace it if you need to, but look after it, you won't have to. Moving on to other features inside, I'll move up this pole first. We've got these little um, Velcro tabs here. They run right up this leg here. This is just on the one leg across the top. And so a nice little clip here so we can hang a lantern off of this fabric here. Reasonably heavy lantern. If I pull down on this, I, I can sort of invert it a bit. It pops back into place, but you could put a decent lantern on that. You could get really small lanterns nowadays that don't uh, give out a lot of light for a very compact size anyway. At the very top, we've got a vent on each side here. That's not adjustable, but it does allow high level um, ventilation. And a little detail that's hard to show here, but on the outside, and this is Quest's attention to detail, there is a little bit of fabric. You can sort of just see it through the sunlight there. That's just there to design, uh, design such that any water that's running this way hits that and runs back and doesn't come in the vent. So just a little bit of added water protection. And if we work back down, I'll just come across to this corner here. A few other features I want to talk about. There's these side release buckles here. Don't know what they're there for at the moment, but Quest is always developing and they're most likely there ready for a future accessory. But you do also have these Velcro strips here, which are for a wall attachment. So these Velcro strips run right down this side here to the very base and they run right across the top as well. So up to this point here and right across the top. And it's the same on each side. You can get mesh and solid walls that just Velcro in on the sides here to give you a bit of extra weather protection. In terms of height, as I mentioned, it's about 180, 185 centimetres at the edge there. And this creeps up to internally about 235 centimetres to this point here. So heaps of height. And there's heaps of height right to the side as well. Some air gazebos slope a bit more so you don't get height to the edge. This has got a largely upright side. So I can stand upright right in the very corner of this gazebo here. And it's about 2.5 metres to the exterior, the very top. Another feature is the floor. Now this floor is included. This is just a, a polyethylene tarp, so a really durable tarp material. You can leave this out if you like. It does assist with setup, with positioning the corners of the uh, gazebo, but you can also remove it. There are side release buckles on the corner here. So once you've got it set up, you can just take this floor out if you like and use it without the floor. It also means that the gazebo is gonna be much more compact to pack away if you decide not to take the floor with you. But as I mentioned, it does make setup a little bit easier if you've got the floor attached because it helps to space out the poles. That's a bit of a walk through and all the features of the Quest Air Gazebo 3. A great option if you're looking for a 3x3 meter gazebo that weighs half as much and packs up to half the length of traditional steel gazebo. You can see these online at snowies.com.au.